Hello everyone and welcome to another quick start video. This time we're gonna take a look at the Rotate MD-11. Um, uh, excellent, excellent aircraft. The purpose of this video is uh, to showcase you how to put the aircraft into the air as fast as possible. I will go as well through the FMC, we'll put in the flight plan uh, and the weights and uh, get it ready to taxi. So if you do happen to have this uh, aircraft, now you can add anything uh, that I miss but other than that it is a quick start we're gonna do it trying to do it really quick oh so welcome uh, here we go so MD-11 is it uh, we're currently sitting in Zakynthos and already have the flight plan up uh, we will go from Zakynthos into Athens very short flight uh, 36 minutes only it is not a real flight though just as an example our takeoff weight almost 200 tons with the route very short uh, and the other info for example cost index and uh, all the fuels that I will need in the process of loading it up so first is first uh, we will go into the aircraft menu get the load manager up uh, our total payload uh, currently, we gotta put that in, in the first, is 60 tons. Our, our block fuel to take a look at um, is, uh, I can show you actually where I'm browsing it. Mm, uh, 16,700, it's here. Uh, our taxi fuel more or less always same eh, 900 mm. just a sec where did i miss it uh there it is yeah 907 it's always the same <laughs> which is quite interesting though navi um sim brief 207 and trip fuel is also listed here uh 5100 Thirty five thousand one thirty one. While this is all of those four categories are done, click apply load aircraft, uh, load configuration to aircraft and FMS. Click it, you're done. Let's jump in. We will go batteries on, close the cover, IRSs into nav mode, back to the menu. Ground operations, request ground power unit, external power on. At this point, we can go uh, start the APU. That guy goes into arm, seat belt signs, no smoking signs, emergency lights into arm, logo light can go on, defog can go off. Pretty straightforward. Now you can play with the lights if you want. FMS. Real quick. FMS 1. Light plan in it. Zakintos. Lima Golf Zulu Alpha. Dashed. Lima Golf Alpha Victor. Alternate. Now, what is the alternate? Ah, oh. uh, Thessaloniki, <laughs> Lima Golf Tango Sierra. <laughs> why, why I'm laughing? Because Thessaloniki is, is not a suitable air, <laughs> airfield for this thing to land. <laughs> Initialize RS, very important. Flight number is not important, not needed. Cruise level, flight level 230. Uh, cost index, we have this value right here. It's 151. 151. There we go. Next page, just to check if our weights and if our fuel has been uh, put in, and it has been. Go to flight plan and let's set up uh, departure by, uh, by sim brief. Our ARA. Delta and we will depart runway 34. Sit 
Ara, Re, Delta, and Runway. 3, 4, Insert. Very simple. Uh, next, after Ara, we will fly Bravo 3, 4, Airway. So click it on it, Airways, Bravo 3, 4. Very straightforward. Uh, next will be uh, Nemes November Echo Mike Echo Sierra and insert. That's discontinuity ahead. We can clear that away and go check the flight plan. Mm, the flight plan discontinuity. There it is. Let's clear it away and we are good. Take off and approach black's number well i usually made this up uh you can do it with top cat whatever you want but uh flex 35 for example with packs off will give me an n1 of 104 so this is very powerful uh i could go 45 for example on the flex number and that n1 number will drop 101 so if you wanna so so if you wanna do it you could go, I don't know, 3 5, doesn't really matter, does it? Slope, wind, very important. I'll, I'll, uh, I do here a 0, and we're gonna put an H, hotel, and a 0 in. So, m to make it as, as simpler as we can. Outside temperature is 15, 1 5. Uh, and flaps, let's say as well, 1 5, 15. We get our speeds you have to confirm them like that just click to make them bigger and a thing that people uh, tend to forget is you have to set the climb trust and the acceleration height so uh, you, you, you would say oh those numbers are already here no the plane won't know them if you don't overwrite them and put in and put it in so that it's bigger three zero one six you have to do it with both like that you're set more or less fms is set uh we are already aligned and uh, the apu is running is it yes it's available you have an apu readout as well here so we will fly flight, flight level uh 230 that's 230 here um and we're ready for engine start so for engine start Ignition, you can select either Alpha or Bravo. So I'll select Alpha. Click the knob so you get a light and immediately put some fuels in. Uh, engine number two will, will start. Uh, what I didn't do is uh, uh, I didn't check on the step trim. 5.3 it is and flap 15. So flaps are being... So as I decided for flap 15... I have to make sure that my flap takeoff selector is on, uh, is on 15, like it is right now. So if you do any other flap setting for takeoff, you would just ad uh, uh, adjust this this rotary wheel here to the selected number. Engine number two is going to life. Let's go engine number three. Engine number three is coming to life. Very good. Do we have to set anything more here as the altitude? Yes, of course. You can go with the runway heading. Uh, I would I would keep the speed here at 250 for now. Any anyhow, the speed will be done by the FMS on takeoff. But if you really wish, you can put as well your V2 plus 10 in or plus five. Whatever. Play with it. It's a fantastic uh, add-on. Engine number one. And this is our last engine. And more or less. We would be ready to go. That's the whole thing. So this plane is, is, is being announced as being very complicated. It is. It can be. So the video that I'm doing right now here is just really a quick start. There are millions of things that you can test, you can do, you can test all kinds of stuff uh, fr from lights to um, um, fire warnings. I'm not doing that. I don't see the sense in this. Because the plane is totally fine.
I don't need those. Okay, engine number one is started. So uh, next, what to do? We don't need the the APU anymore, so can close it. Can close this one as well. Beacon, of course, I forgot it. You would go taxi lights, uh, pushback truck, whatever. And that would be very important. Adjust the trim. The trim is 5.3, so you will see it right here. Just pull it 5.3. 1, 2, 3. Here we go. That's it. And flaps. 1, 2. And it will go. The second stage will be flaps 15 as set. Uh, arm the spoilers and uh, auto brakes to take off. And uh, let's not forget arm out of flight you got the arm out of flight very important arm as well a profile nav and fms speed which is already done here at 166 so more or less you are set when you hit the throttle on takeoff when you pitch your nose up when you start flying at it uh, you can then easily just click on auto flight and the plane will fly the route with the correct speed and everything. So that's the whole story. Is it? <laughs> so the, the uh, autopilot is a little bit unusual, but it's very fine. It's, it's very good. So yeah, trust it. So thank you so much for watching. That was our quick start on the MD-11. Check out as well the other videos that, that I've been doing. Uh, if you like the content, drop, uh, drop a comment, a like, or maybe even a subscribe to this channel. And if it happens that you have a Twitch channel, you are very welcome to join my Twitch streams more or less every day through the work days and uh, come in and say hello. So thank you for watching and see you online. Ciao.